so today I think this session it will be um, about me um, explaining a, a bit of um, the sampling the render rendering settings um, oh sorry render settings and we'll talk a bit about all the samplings and how you guys should use to to help you create a, a cleaner image in your render and possibly at a, a lower time because I've seen people that increase their A samples like crazy or they, they increase everything to not even 10. I've seen a, some students put it to like what 99 or something which is insane so um, please do not do that so let's just do the, the default ones first so okay so um so i've created a simple scene with this character from i think sketchpad so just feel free to download um i will credit this model the modeler in the video's description and it's i've downloaded a hdi um again this hdi is a very huge hdi which is not recommended it's like 16k or something so for a scene like that you don't need a uh, so high res um resolutions HDRI because you, you are not having a very reflective character that you want the, the full resolution um, you just want a bit of ambient um, colors um, onto your character so you don't need that so um, I've created this HDRI and uh, an area like to mimic the sun to give a bit more shaping to a character so um, out of the box it looks like that okay so as you can see with these render settings, um, my render is about 4 seconds and if you zoom in, you can see that there's a lot of noise um, in, in the renders which are not great. Um, okay, so um, before I move on to all the render settings, I, I, want, I just want to get a bit of um, this character sitting on the ground so you have a bit of shadowing. Um, so at least visually, it looks nicer. So just let me create a ground plane. Okay, so this will be my ground plane. Okay, put it into my geo. Stop. Okay, to my perspective view. Okay. Shift the ground plane to where the character is. Okay, the, the tail is penetrating, so um don't really care about that first. Um, and then we don't need such a huge one um, in the scene. So can just reduce. Okay, so now if I render, I will just get... Uh, no, let me just update my scene. Okay, so I'll just get this ground plane, which is not nice. Because uh, what we want is literally just the shadow. So how we can make use of uh, a shader in, in Arno to, to achieve that is we can assign a new shader. Go to your Arno shader and there's this AI shadow map <coughs> shader that you can assign to this ground plane. Okay, Once you do that and you render, you will get the shadows there um, and the, the, it, will looks, it will feel more connected to, to your scene now. And now you see that the shadow density is um, too dark maybe uh, compared to the surrounding. So we can also um, tweak that so we can change our um, shadow color slightly so that it's not so dark. Then let's just save the image and we render again. So now you have a, a lighter shadow um, uh, but now it's too light. So we probably want to just reduce very slightly. Okay, maybe something like that uh, works for me. Okay, so now let's just let the, the image fully resolve again. Okay, um, let me just save this image. Okay, so it's about 7 seconds for Full HD um, resolution. The, and the samples is the default ones, which is 3, 2, 2, 2. Okay, so um, first thing that normally what I will recommend to do is go to AOVs. Make sure uh, the lights AOVs by default you guys have to make sure you have it so that you can clearly see what your your lights are doing 
oh it's not showing okay let me check my likes okay so I uh, need to input the, the like group name okay render again okay so now I can clearly see this is what my HDRI is doing and this is what my sun like is doing so now this is what my what I'm getting okay so um, back to the topic go to AOVs um, what normally I would like to do is I would like to enable diffuse direct diffuse indirect and specular direct and specular indirect and if you have SSS um, you can feel free to turn it on I think this this character does not have it it's just a very simple Lambert shader so I'll enable that okay so right now we don't need to deal with that anymore so I'll just make it smaller okay render again okay so what this AOVs does is it will give me the what the diffuse direct like um, AOV looks like and you can see that in the diffuse direct it has a lot of noises and if you go to the diffuse indirect you can see it also has a lot of noises okay let's check the specular direct doesn't seem too bad and specular indirect okay not too much and it's just a bit on the eyes okay so we know that um, most of the noise is coming from the diffuse um, the diffuse component of the, the renders and maybe let's just check which um, light source that is coming from so we can go to our EMV you see that our EMV light is causing a lot of this noise and let's check our sunlight again it's also causing quite a bit of the noise so normally um, I recommend to start increasing samples from the light source itself first so select the light for example now I'm working with this sunlight I, I want to uh, reduce the noise here select your sunlight go to your attribute editor um, and if you go to the the, comp, the attributes area you can see that there's this sample option here okay so now this is sample of one so let me just save this image okay say we increase it to three okay and let it resolve okay okay and you can see that it is already uh, uh, much much better looking um, images already of course I do not want to bump this value to a very high number because ultimately later on you will increase your AA samples to, to help the noise and all this will be a multiplier on top of that so you you want to um, not I mean you want to increase this sensibly and not push this to a crazy value just to just to get it up so I think now 3 seems like a uh, a good value okay I, I, let me just see what they are pressed just now okay let me go back here okay and wait uh, let me see I think I accidentally pressed my render again back to the sun okay okay so now this is okay I'll let it resolve <clears throat> okay so this is one samples and this is three samples it's it's still noisy but it's much better already it's like um, much better okay so now what I will do is same thing I will go I will take a screenshot and then I will go back to my ENV okay so overall it's still noisy so go to ENV, um, maybe you try a samples of two first. Okay, not too bad. Um, still a bit, um, but it's acceptable, I guess. Um, alternatively, if you feel that your, your computer is, is fast enough or you have um, a crazy high-end computer, you can, you can push the values more. Let, let's take a look at the, the values between 2 and 3 okay with all these tweaks in mind take note that at first our renders only took 7 seconds and now you can see that um, as we are increasing the samples little bit by little bit it's, the time is increasing um, considerably uh, fast now it's almost more than 2 times the, the render time already um, from what we started off with 
Okay, so this is three samples and this is two samples. Mm, okay, maybe we can go with three samples. It looks much cleaner. Okay, so now um, let's go back to our beauty. Okay, so overall the image is looking pretty good except some of the, the areas where you still see a bit of noise. And all this, okay, let's look at the diffuse component again. Okay, so the diffuse component doesn't look too bad to me. At, um, it's just this area which I think a lot is coming from the indirect. Okay, so this is where I'll start to look at my render settings and this component. Okay, so A samples, this will help you um, resolve your noise in your depth of field or your motion blur. So increase this um, if you need to get a cleaner result in your motion blur or your depth of field. And do take note that this number, it's, it's not how many samples that it, it's cast onto your your renders. This number the input will be squared and the the amount will so for example you are inputting three. So technically you are you are telling the renderer to use nine samples um for your A sample. So um so be careful when you're increasing this because every um increase is a lot for like if you put it to four it will be sixteen already instead of nine. So um just be very worried that like, um when you're increasing all these AA samples because it's it gets very heavy very fast. Okay, so now um, let's talk about diffuse and specular. So all these components are affecting the indirect um, component of your your, a, your image. Okay, so if you look at your, your diffuse direct, um, if you start increasing this, it probably will not help um, your renders looks better. Okay, it will help in your indirect um, passes. So Direct specular um, will will affect your indirect um, AOVs. Okay, so let's take a screenshot of this. So diffuse direct. I mean, I mean diffuse indirect. Okay, so now let's start increasing this. So maybe um, let's try four. Okay, I'll just do render. Okay, again. To take note of your render time, it's getting um, slower and slower every time you are, you are increasing all the samples. Okay, so now what it was before and now. Okay, you can already see that it's um, much better now. And um, let's check our specular indirect. It, it's just the eye, so I don't think it's worth increasing the samples for this. Or I might even want to reduce it so that you know it doesn't take too much of our time. So you see, after I reduce it, let's see how, how it looks first. Okay, and again, I don't think we have transmission or subsurface um, or volumes um, in our scene, so probably we can just remove it. Um, if we don't need it in our scene. Okay, um, let it resolve a bit more. Okay, so let me look at the overall image. Okay, doesn't look too bad. Um, a bit of noise here, but it's still resolving, so just let it resolve a bit more. Okay, so this is... Um, the new renders that we have with this um, settings that we input. Okay, so let's check this with what we had previously. Um, probably not this one. This one, yeah. So you can see it's already um, much better. Okay, and the render time difference is twenty three seconds versus a seven seconds. So it's more than three times by just increasing a few of that um, diffuse indirect samples and also the light samples. So be very careful if you have a very heavy scene. Um, it will go up very exponentially and it will just end up having a very long render time. So um, this is how you can increase all your samples uh, accordingly to what you need. And let's say, um, you know, um, these are the settings that as far as I, I can push and it fits into my my time frame of how, how when I need to get my renders done. And I still want to clean up this, this type of noise. Um, so what we can do is uh, we can make use of the the Arno denoiser. Um, right now my my optics denoiser have having some issues, so I'll just show you guys um, how to use this Arno denoiser. Okay, so first thing, make sure when you are outputting, always merge your AOVs. 
okay so that way you do not get every AOVs in a different EXRs okay then um, go back to your denoiser and make sure you check this checkbox output denoise AOV so this basically will output another AOV that is used during the denoise phase okay then now uh, what we need to do is we'll, I'll just render this, this um, uh, scene out I'll just render one frame just make sure it's one frame uh, single frame full HD camera okay cool I will go to render I'll render sequence I will save it to my desktop um, so it's easier to find later camera and render sequence okay so it's rendering now um, just wait for a while um, for it to resolve okay so now we have an image um, let me just go to my desktop okay um, open up the EXR okay so this was the EXR that was rendered okay so if I zoom in you can see all this noise um, are there so um, right now how we can use the, the denoise the denoiser in Arno to help us fix this is we go to Arno the tab utilities um, Arno denoise and this noise um, uh, option okay so first you will need to input in your the EXR that you rendered so this is my EXR that I rendered okay so it will automatically output your the, the EXR name that you input and with an underscore denoise behind it so um, very straightforward and I'll use a single frame okay all these options are, are more uh, are more useful when we are you are rendering uh, a sequences uh, of your uh, basically multiple frames of your the, the renders so we will not talk about this yet so probably the, the next time um, we have a bit more renders I will talk about that so single frame and I'll just click on denoise with all the default settings here okay so you just let you just run for a while so just let it um, run in the background Okay, so once the, the checkbox is gone, um, you'll probably... Okay, so let me bring up my render just now. Okay, so this is what was rendered um, just now. Okay, and then let's let me add in. Okay, so if I... So you see, this is the EXR and I bring in the, the denoise one. So, okay, so um, you guys can see the, the name change. So this is the, the normal EXR that we output and this one is the denoise EXR that output and now if we zoom into areas like the, the noise area you can see that it's it's dissolved I mean it's resolved very clean now so like, like all these areas which are noisy previously it's much better now and at a very short um, span of time you get a very clean result so this is um, how you guys can make use of the, the denoiser in your Maya so yeah so if this video is useful to you uh, please don't forget to like subscribe and comment or ask any question if uh, you have and thank you